welcome back. Right now, I'm off to Onehanga to meet up with the sisters behind fashion label Mena. That is us, and the boys of PhD are here at the uh, Mena. But yeah, we're just headed there now. Can't wait. Awesome. I'll meet you guys there. Fashion. Meet my beautiful sister Gina, one quarter of the Mena Sister Empire. Tell for lover. Hello, <laughs> <Talofa. laughs> Now, can you tell us what your role is within Mena? So I look after the retail side, so that includes uh, the store and only hanger. And what do the other three do? Agnes looks after our wholesale accounts. We host our two Hawaii, Rarotonga, and Fiji, and Charlene, production manager. And Jackie looks after the Mena Samoa operation. Take us back to how you guys began. Well, we started in Samoa over eight years ago now, but we wanted to expand. So we've been in New Zealand um, four years now. We started out making pulitasis, um, but yeah, we expanded to dresses, cocktail dresses. This year, we've done our first winter collection. So you named the label after your mum? My mother was um, tailoring clothes. Yeah, I think if it wasn't for her, we probably wouldn't have um, started that fashion label. Because looking at the clothes, you can see they're obviously Pacific inspired. What do you think makes non-Pacific people want to wear them? People love our prints. I think in Auckland there's too much darkness, too much black, <laughs> yeah. and um, having the colour is just refreshing change. And this year you've shown at Fashion Week, high five. How do four Samoan girls who make these beautiful summer dresses do a winter range for Fashion Week? Well, we thought if we want to take our label to New Zealand and to the world, we've got to incorporate a winter and summer collection as well. I guess the Samoan prints and this island kind of heritage has a place there at a, a, a place like Fashion Week? Uh, Auckland is the biggest Polynesian city in the world, and so I don't see why we should have that presence in the fashion industry. What I like about your clothes is that you've come in and you've bought us into the fashion industry. I mean, this is the designs we've grown up seeing. Mm -hmm. I think it makes us really proud of you guys as well. Yes, I hope so too. <laughs> <laughs> and it should yes. do. <laughs> well, thanks so much for being with us today. Good luck for the next 80 years in the Thank fashion you. industry. <laughs> Thank you. Kiwis have always had a huge respect for underground hip-hop. Peeps like Damn Native, Tyne and JB paved the way for it here in Aotearoa. Another group that's keeping true to the music are the boys of PhD. Music. Salam palava! What's up, bro? Happy to man, how you doing? Good, good. Everyone, PhD? How's it going? Coffees? Yeah, man. Yeah, sure. Straight to the kitchen. Cheers. Yeah, this is for the chick, got me stuck in the glass Who had that glass figure when she walking on past And all the girls in the front Black, white, one sugar white. One sugar yeah. One white How did you guys get into hip-hop music? When I was two, my mum bought me a, a video called Beat Street And it was my favourite, <laughs> my fully my favourite video in the whole world Hip-hop just came to me, I was born in Los Angeles And I grew up to Snoop Dogg and just everything and you know and, yeah, just hip-hop just influenced my life in a big way. How would you compare New Zealand hip-hop to America? Well, New Zealand music in general, I would think, is on a level of its own, you know, like, really just so much talent for such a small place. You guys are described as underground hip-hop. Can you describe that to people who never heard of it before? The underground circuit's a lot freer than the commercial circuit. You can say whatever you want, you can basically make whatever sort of music you want, but if you want to follow the commercial criteria, you can't have certain content, you know what I mean? Otherwise you don't, you won't get any backing, or, and people can't play you on commercial radio. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys going to keep that underground uniqueness to PhD? Um, we're releasing an album um, in December for the commercial market, but at the same time we're releasing an album for the underground market as uh, well. Good move, bro. Yeah, yeah. Good move. Yeah, because you can't forget where you came from. Tell us about this new single that you guys have just released. Okay, the new single we've released is called All The Same and we did a stop motion animation video clip for it. Oh, right, yeah. Which is crazy, it took us a long time, but you know, it was it was worth it. Like, it, it was kind of a hidden message with the title of the song, but it just, we didn't plan it that way, but just a lot of hip hop videos seem to be all the same. And something, something fun as well, you know? We didn't want it to be um, too serious. Respects with all the same See me last weekend
And what next for you boys? So we have uh, our second video coming out for a single called Sunset Drakes. And after that, we're uh, supporting DJ Rectangle coming over from the States yeah, in December. That yeah, that's a pretty big gig for us. We're uh, looking forward to that one. And we should have a third uh, single and video out with the album in December as well, so. Do you reckon you guys could drop us a track in our garage? Definitely. Yeah, Shopper, yeah, it's right there. Should we hit that? Let's go. Mad alofas to all of our guests this week. Remember, catch us same time, same channel, or if that's not enough, Corinne, they can check us out 24-7 <laughs> right there. Remember, we really value your opinion, so keep hitting us up on Facebook. Now it's time for PhD. Bye. And it rolls in like a blanket on a day. For the spirits like together in a special kind of way. And you prove to me she's willing to promise to us stay. From a desert in a hook. Just before he passed away. The light covers her face. I'm on the reaches through. Guess I know I love her more than she think I do. Just a thought as I sit back and sink a few. Hope I've ever had my sunset drink. Pacific Beach Street, what up? Years ago, I said I'd give you all my love, baby, that's my spirit. We can talk about the future and I know that you're here. Just writing pictures on the wall with no place to be. So meet me over the hills or right up under the trees. Yeah, that's the spot where we'll drink till dusk. Coast to where we got our first test together and stuff. See, a lot of sunset, yo, but never enough. I want to be with your girl and give you all of my love. That's what I said. And you know that I said it until death do us part. Don't you ever forget it. We got a beautiful daughter. This little girl is a princess. But we just focus on that and all the rest of your business. So grab my hand, baby, step on the porch. They gotta They're a bit late. It's all right. Musicians are normally late. Pass on the toast for two. I hope I always have my sunset drinks with you. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.